can on the new Jeannot Voyage 42. It's a bit of a new design direction with Jeannot. They've got Tony Castro involved and it's a boat that's going to go toe to toe with the likes of the Manso Swift Trawler 44 and the Azimut Magellano 43. The idea is that you can cruise slowly and comfortably but also raise up the speed and get up to about 26, 27 knots flat out. Um, when driving the boat, taking it up to speed like we are now, the overwhelming feeling is solidity really. It's got these whacking great CMD smart craft controls, V drives, shaft drives, and it just feels very, very solid. Drive wise, again, it's solidity really. Uh, it turns okay, but the steering isn't particularly light. It goes where you want it to go. Um, but what's really nice is that in a bit of a chop like we've got today, it tracks really straight. You don't have to make too many adjustments to the wheel. Uh, and when you're doing long distances like you're likely to be doing on a boat like this, that's really, really good. When it comes to the helmsman's lot, um, the outstanding thing has got to be the view. Wrap around windscreen, there's also three panes of glass in the roof above you, so it's incredibly bright and uh, thin mullions as well means that there's really a 360 sort of view from the, from the helm seat. Um, the helm seat is adjustable, it's got a flip up bolster and also there's a side door so you can communicate easily with the, with the crew and of course get out of the side decks easily yourself. Practicality is at the heart of the Voyage 42's charms and it starts with the side decks. They're asymmetric so this starboard one is slightly wider and that's good because it's next to this side door which is right next to the helm. Very very handy for the skipper to get out here. The only slight omission is no gate in the bulwark here which would be quite nice so you could then step out onto the pontoon. But as you can see they're nice and wide, there's a good handhold here and then you can pick up the guard rail right here. And this is a neat little feature, hidden away. There's a little slot to drop in a side boarding ladder and you've also got your twin diesel fillers nicely hidden away as well. So here we are on the flybridge and it's one part of the 42 that sets it apart from its rivals the most because of its interesting design and it all centres around this mast here which as you can see has the function of holding up the radar, horn, lights but it's also got things like shower. Right. Moving forward it's slightly more formulaic in that you've got the sort of seating you'd expect, table here, wet bar under this lid here and then two-way backrest so that you can either sit facing forward as the boat's going along or obviously put it like this and join everybody eating at the dinette. As this boat is probably primarily going to be used for a cruising couple, it's important this forward cabin is good and thankfully it is. It's got lots of light, it's twin skylights in the ceiling, elongated ports either side which both have opening vents as well and as we found the rest of the boat the practical touches are all over the place. You've got storage here in the back of the cupboard door and also a big hanging locker and there's a nice big ensuite heads as well with a separate shower cubicle which is proper glass and not a shower curtain. Okay. If there's a slightly disappointing area of the Voyage 42 it's probably this guest cabin here. There's enough room at the end of the bed to stand and get changed but once you get onto the beds as you can see there's not a huge amount of headroom and it all feels a little bit cramped and a little bit dark. So there you have it, the Jeannot Voyage 42, and I think you agree it's a pretty interesting prospect, and with smaller and larger models in the pipeline, it's definitely a range to keep your eye on.